Welcome to WP Matt. This video is going to be super important because you are going to be learning about one of our advanced elements named pop-up model. You can make any kind of design for the pop-up model and show it in different places of the screen. Alright, let's get into it. The first thing we will really start with is enabling the module or enabling the elements. To do it, go to elements kit. After that, navigate to elements. Now you have to go elements. Now there you have to find out the pop-up model. Make sure this one is activated. After you active this one, click save changes. Alright, now you are ready to use it. Now go ahead and open up any page with Elementor page builder and from the widget area search pop-up. They will find the pop-up model with eKit badge. Drag in the pop-up model on your page. Now it's time to walk you through some of the important controls uh, for the pop-up model that will help you to design or modify the model. The first thing we'll start with is the layout. Instead of the layout, you can make the pop-up model as a button. You can apply it inside of an image or any specific time. So for now you can see the button comes with as a default style, but you can move to image if you want. I'll go to image just to show you how it looks like. And there is a toggle image, you can change the image from here, alright? Or if you go to uh, the another one, which is the last one, uh, the time. So right now it's 3 seconds, that means uh, after the page is refreshed, 3 seconds later this pop-up model will show. Alright, so this is the thing you need to know inside of uh, the toggle type. I'm disabling this one or deleting this one. Now I will go to button for now and I'll enable the model. The second one is the pop-up show type which is right now model but it can show it at the side view. Uh, so let's go to the side view. After the side view you have the appear from. That means when you click the model by default it will comes from the left side as it's selected to left side. So if I open the model it comes from the left side. You can also control the width of the model, don't worry. Okay, now if you select it to the right side or bottom, any of the side you want. But right now I want to select the right side. And now if I click the model, it appears on the right side. So you can use the model to create a kind of uh, vertical menu uh, in case you want. Okay, and you can change all the content inside of the model that I'll show you. And just wait and see how I do it. All right. Now go to the model view, open this one. Right now it's center, that means uh, this pop-up model will show at the center of the screen. But you can select different type of area where you want to show the model. Alright, for example I want to show the model bottom right corner. There it is at the bottom, bottom right corner. If I open the model, there it is. Now after that you have the toggle button. If you select image, they will find the image option. For now we have the toggle button. You can change the button label from here or you can change the alignment of the button and also you can control the button width. In case if you want to use the full width on that time you have to use the full size and that means 100%. You can also add an icon for the model. There is the option to add an icon but for now I don't want to use any icon. Alright, let's open the model. Now go to the pop-up area and inside of the pop-up area you have uh, the width control and the maximum height control. Uh, I would like to use uh, width 800 pixel around. If you want to hide the overlay just behind the model you can also disable this option. You can hide this close icon. Then you have the show header. If you want to disable the header area or footer area you have the option to show or hide the header and footer area from here. Alright, then you have the positioning option. Let's see the vertical position first of all. For this position, it's better to use the percentage unit. Now go for the horizontal position. And this is how it works. Alright, then uh, the most important thing comes up is the animation. So inside of the animation type, you'll find around 20 different types of animation or more than 20. Uh, the first one I will start with is fading up. Let's see. If I click, there you can see it's, it's fading up. Kind of nice animation. Then if I go to bouncing, you can try all of them uh, and you can select the animation type you like. If I open it, uh, there is the bouncing option. I want to keep it for now. Then you have the duration option. By default, it's normal and I want to keep it normal. You can make it slow or fast, uh, whatever you want. After that you have the content area which is uh, the most important area. So inside of the content area you'll find the WGWIG uh, control. If you write anything here that will be applied in this part. Okay. 
but if you don't want to use any video week if you want to add something advanced uh, something new or kind of design that you liked in order to do it you have the template option here so let's enable the template option and if I open the model click here to add content so you have to click here to add a new content this is the template page where I have to add some new content now it's totally up to you you can use multiple different type of widgets to make a design you want All right for now I want to import some designs from the layout kit library here I will go to sections then call to action and for now I would like to use the first one I'll insert it all right that's it what you can write is uh, get the opportunity now we want to remove the box shadow here so we'll go to the section area the style border reset the box shadow all right and update it close it now let's again open the model okay so this is the style that we have recently met all right now the next one is the overlay option you can enable and disable the overlay from here it's very simple and then you have the close icon this is the close icon open it there you have the options to set a position for the close icon top right corner but you can make it top left corner wherever you want but I want to keep it in the top right corner then you have the vertical position horizontal position and the icon control after that you have the header area there you can change the title subtitle also this divider for the footer area it's quite a bit different so inside of the footer area you can work with these buttons too the first one is CTA button call to action button like the buy now so if you don't click this button he will be redirected to a link there is a link you can put any link you want here and then you have the variant right now is flipped but you can make it outlined this is the outline this is the text and now let's go back to our feed area all right after that you have the label option right now it's buy now but you can change it uh, we can write get it now Then you have the alignment option there you have the option to use left alignment center alignment the space between and the right alignment for now uh, let me show you the space between option all right okay after that you have the reverse order uh, if you disable it this is the right order the close button in the first and the second one is the call to action button Right. in order to work with the close button you need to go the close tab and there you have the option to change the label the variant and alignment too now after you have learned all these things it's time to talk about our style tab now if you go to the style tab there you have all the options to work with the color typography background font size etc okay the first thing we'll start with is the toggle button I mean this open model and there you can work with the padding typography background and so on for now let's change the background color I want to make the background color completely red and on hover I want to make it completely black there you can also work with the border radius border type and so on we want you to explore all of them it's very simple now if you go to the pop-up area there you have the option to choose a background type box shadow and some other options now if you go to header there you can work with a header title typography text shadow and even the subtitle typography color and so on after that instead of the content area you have the background type padding and some other options let's see this one first of all make the padding zero from all side and i don't want to use any background color for now after that instead of the overlay you can change the overlay color I want to use a bit of red color you can also use a background image to make things beautiful and after that you have the close icon this is the close icon you have you can increase decrease the size from here background type and background color on hover all right now if you go to the footer area here the first thing you'll find is the background type let's change the background type red after that you have the divider option then you have the city button option let's change the city button background color black 
and on hover I want to make it completely white and text color I want to make black all right then you have the close button option let's make the background color completely white and on hover background color completely black and the text color on hover I want to make white and the background color is black and the controls I have showed you in the video is to show you how it works obviously you can do more than this thank you for watching this video